the city and it was, it still makes me tear up a little bit. It was just unbelievable. Um, and then, you know, going to uh, the Lower Ninth Ward in April after Katrina, which was six months after Katrina, and just, it looked like a war zone. I mean, there was still uh, cars on top of cars, houses in the middle of the street, houses on top of other houses. It was insane. It felt scary to me to be down here. Sometimes you just need a little shaking up to, to get you going, and I think there's this tremendous entrepreneurial activity. There's opportunity here. It's relatively cheap to live here. And so we're, we're becoming more of a magnet for folks to come in. And of course, we have that sort of dynamic culture that you can't get anywhere else. In New Orleans in general, risk takers are rewarded because it's a city that accepts risk takers. It's, it's a, a welcoming community and people want you to be successful. And so that's a huge thing when you're trying to you know, start out, whether it's a new job or a new business. It's a city with a soul. It really um, has, it, has this deep sense of tradition and culture. When I get up in the morning, I'm never like, oh, I have to go to work. You know, I really, really enjoy getting up and going to work now. Whereas before, when I was a lawyer, it was fine, but I never really felt like I was doing something for myself. You know, I was always working for a client. Anyone, anyone and everyone who came back had a sense of solidarity with their neighbors and resilience. That is why. The city is doing so well at the moment because everyone who was here was here for a reason. 